You know what I like best about tomatoes and burrata? It's so elegant. So I'm starting with a pint of heirloom cherry tomatoes, and I'm cutting them in half, and I just cut them through the stem. The heirloom tomatoes, because the seeds have been handed down from generation to generation, and they have incredible colors and flavors. You can actually grow these yourself. Just get heirloom tomato seeds and grow them in the ground or in pots. So easy. So that's the tomatoes. So next is the burrata. And what burrata is, it's mozzarella with a very soft center. I'll show you when I cut it. And this is enough for two. It always comes in water to stay moist. And I'm gonna cut it in half, and you'll see the center is really creamy. And what I do is, is put it, the creamy side down on the plate, just like that. You're not gonna believe how easy this dish is to make. And then I'm gonna put the tomatoes right around. It'll look gorgeous, it's gonna be delicious. It's a really nice lunch or a first course before dinner. Look how pretty this looks. Okay, I'm gonna drizzle it with olive oil. Don't even need to make a vinaigrette. Just do it right on the plate. Sprinkle it with sea salt. I use sea salt like a finishing salt. Fleur de sel, a little pepper. And some basil, because of course you have to have basil with tomatoes and mozzarella. I mean, sometimes you can even just take small basil leaves and put them right on or tear them. But I think it looks pretty also to chiffonade them. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is a real summer dish. You don't wanna turn on the stove, you've got something on the grill. The perfect first course. A little basil around. And then the last ingredient's really important. It's really good syrupy balsamic vinegar. And I'm gonna, just gonna drizzle it right over the top. It's sweet. It's acidic, it's all, everything you could possibly want in a tomato, mozzarella, and basil salad. 